What if I told you changing out a kitchen faucet was easy? Would you believe me? In this video, I'm gonna go over the step-by-step -step process for you to go ahead and do your own DIY faucet installation. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is shut off the hot and cold water valves. They're located underneath the sink and you're gonna turn them to the right. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, reach up, open up that handle and make sure that water is officially off before we go to the next step. Grab a rag or maybe a small Tupperware to catch the water when you take off the supply lines from the supply valves. Now grab your adjustable wrench and take off the supply line. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Remove the quick disconnect from the faucet hose. And as you can see, it's gonna be located right here. Usually it's held in with a compression clip. Once the clip is removed, you're then able to take the piece apart. <laughs> Sorry about my ring light being in the shot. I'm kind of working in a tight area. The space is small and the camera was acting out of focus. Sometimes the specialty tool was left behind by the previous person who installed the old faucet. In that case, if it was, go ahead and use that tool. If it wasn't, all you need is an adjustable wrench and you'll be able to loosen up the nut that is holding the faucet to the counter. Once the washer and nut are removed, you can safely remove the faucet from the counter. Next, you're gonna wanna clean the area before installing the new faucet. So get all that soap grime off the counter and make sure it's pristine before inserting the new faucet. All right, now you're able to take the new faucet out of the box, make sure all the parts are there, and get ready to install this new faucet in the existing hole. Now, this particular faucet is a one hole design. Some people like to use the trim piece that goes on the bottom of it. I asked my wife, she didn't want that. So no trim piece, we're just gonna put the faucet directly onto the counter and it's gonna be a nice, clean, modern look. Insert the hose, install the sprayer head, and then now we're able to go underneath the cabinet once more and secure the new faucet to the counter. So in this case, we got a new specialty tool. Underneath, we're gonna put the washer back on. We're gonna follow it up with the nut, use the specialty tool, and we're gonna secure the new faucet to the counter. What I like to do is make sure it's snug enough, that way I could go back on top, make sure that it is lined up and it's exactly where I want the faucet to be, and then I could go underneath it one last time and tighten it down. Now that the faucet is secured to the counter, we could connect the hose with the quick connect to the faucet itself so it becomes one. After that, we're gonna add the weight to the yellow tape that's on the hose line, which will give weight to the sprayer to make sure it returns back to its seated position. Let's get those supply lines connected, hot to hot, cold to cold. Turn on those valves, make sure nothing is leaking. My plumbing's a little rough right now, but here's a photo, I already upgraded it. All right, DIYers. You installed your first faucet. Hopefully it was easy for you guys to do. Hopefully my tutorial gave you enough knowledge to say that you could go ahead and tackle this job yourself and not have to hire anybody out. Leave a comment below, I'd love to read it. Honestly, if it wasn't for you guys watching these videos, I don't know what I would be doing because I wouldn't be making content. Do me a favor, hit the like button, share it with a friend if they need help. And as always guys, stay handy my friends. I'll see you on the next one.